Hey there, fourth grade. Keep working on angles today. Um, we're going to have some problems where you're going to find the measurements of some angles without measuring them. So go ahead and make this the title on your next page in your math notebook. And when you have done that, mark your page, close it up, and just give me your total concentration until we get to the we do. So, that's what we did last time. So take this angle, right? And what we kind of talked about last time was how you can take this angle and you can measure it, which I will do now. Um, let's see, that's angle ABC. And it measures about, what is that, 43 degrees maybe? Uh, 43 degrees. And what we did is we kind of move that away for a minute and said, well, what if we kind of cut that angle into two parts like that? And we talked about how if you do that, then if you measure the two angles, they should add up to the original angle. So like this one, if you measure this smaller one here, it is about, what, about 15 degrees? And then if you measure this next one, it's about, get it right on the spot there, not quite there we go, it looks like about, what, 29 degrees to me. And if you add those up, you should be on or real close to 43 degrees. Remember, it may not be exact, um, you can probably tell mine's not going to be, because it's hard to be exactly perfect. But, let's see, 4, carry the 1, yeah, 44. So I was awfully close, right? So if I add up these two angles, I should get my original angle. And we're going to use that idea today to solve some problems. So let me show you, like, this one. So here's the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to solve these without the protractor. So I'm going to throw this away and check out what I can do. So here we go. We've got some info here. Here's a set of angles like the one we saw before. And I have some info about them. Angle R, S, T, R, S, T. That's the, oh, no, 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 sorry, R, S, T. That's this one right here. That is 111 degrees. And then angle T, S, U, T, S, U. Angle T, S, U is 15 degrees. So I'll mark that here. 15 degrees. And the question is, what is angle RSU? That's the biggest angle, RSU. And I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to take this fact I know that RST is 111 and our uh, TSU is 15. And if I wanted to know this whole angle, the bigger angle, RSU, well, it really should just be this one and this one added together, right? It's just one continuous angle that I've divided in half. So if I add those together, plus 15, then I get 6, 2, 1. And so the bigger angle should be 126 degrees. I'll check it to prove it, but I'm very confident that my obvious math uh, makes that true. Let's try it, though. Get it to line up. There we go. Hope I'm on there. And I'm not quite on there. I'm wasting your time moving this protractor around. Sorry. Anyway, there we go. That's about as good as I can get it. And it's 126 or 7 degrees. So, works out, right? I can just take those two smaller angles, add them up, and they should give me the bigger angle. Let's do, before you do what we do, let's do one in reverse, kind of. Let's do one more. I do. Check this one out. So there is W, X, Y, Z. And let's look at the information given in the question here. Angle Z, X, Y. That is Z, X, Y. Z, X, Y. That's this one right here. That is 54 degrees. 
and then angle ZXW, ZXW, that's this big one right here, is 80 degrees. And we want to find out what is angle YXW. YXW, so that is this one right here. That's the one we don't know. Well, if I added 54 plus that other missing angle, I should get this big angle, which is 80 degrees, right? 54 plus whatever that extra angle is should equal 80 degrees. And so I just have to figure out what this is right here. So that's going to be whatever 80 minus 54 is. Let's see, I can't subtract 4 from 0. So I have to take 110 and make it into 10 ones. And now I've got 6 ones and 2 tens. So that should be 26 degrees, and that makes sense, right? 20, 54 plus 26 is 80. 50 and 20 is 70. 4 and 6 is 10. That's my other 10 to make 80. So all I have to do is think about these two angles adding together to make this angle. All right. Open your notebook. Let's do 2 um, together. You can approximate this. You don't have to be perfect. So if you don't have a um, protractor with you, that's okay. And here we go. Let's start marking these. So angle A, D, B. A. D, B, that's this little small one here, that is 19 degrees. And then angle B, D, C, B, D, C, that is uh, this one right here. That is 109 degrees. And we're asked, what is angle A, D, C? That's the super big one that stretches across both. So that is this one. Well, that angle right there is just this 19 and this 109 put together. So if I just add uh, 19 and 109, I should get whatever this big angle right here is. So 109 plus 19. Two nines make 18. I can put the 8 there, carry the 1 to the tens place. Two tens and 100. And so that is a 128 degree angle. 128 degree angle, right? It's just this 19 and this 109 added together, and that makes 128. That's all there kind of is to it, just recognizing that. Okay? You can pause till you've got that one written down, and then you can go to the next one. All right, let's do one more together. This is going to be a little bit different where I kind of give you the biggest angle. And hmm, I might not be. This might be a repeat of the last one. I might not have set it up right. But we're going to do it either way. Here we go. So here we go. Angle KHJ. KHJ. That is 17 degrees right there. And then angle K, H, I, that's the biggest one. That is here, that is 33 degrees. So our question is, what is J, H, I? J, H, I is this one right here, J to H to I. So what I need is, it looks, that's the one I don't know, right? And the 17 plus this one should add up to 33. 17 plus whatever my missing angle is equals 33 degrees. And so whatever that is should be 33 minus 17. Should give me that number. Um, 13 minus, I need to take a 10 to make 10 ones. That's 6 and that's 1. So my missing angle is 16 degrees, 16 degrees. 17 plus 16 makes this whole 33 degree angle there. So it's really just looking at two parts of an angle and really making sure you know that they add up to a whole angle. And that's it. That's how sometimes you can find angles without 
measuring them. You can just use the fact that the two smaller angles add up to the bigger angle. And if you need to find the bigger angle, add them up. If you need to find one of the smaller angles, use the subtraction and you'll be there. Um, if this was tough for you, please go back and watch this a second time, or at least part of it a second time, so you have a good command of this when you get to school tomorrow. And other than that, I will see you when I see you.